Hello, everybody. It's the interview queen, Alicia Atu here, and I am so excited to welcome you all to my interview with Maria Canellis and Mike Bennett. Hello, you two. Three, Hi. shall we? Hi. <laughs> Three, yes, we have Carver here too. We're trying to get him to sleep. So if he cries in the middle of this, I'm I'm sorry. He's he's it's a little okay. grumpy. Or if Maria starts bouncing up and down, it's because she's on an exercise ball trying to get him to sleep. So <laughs> he has a pass. So how yeah. how are you all doing? <laughs> Good. We're surviving, you know. I mean, yeah. we're in a pandemic, which sucks, but um we're so busy with these kids that it's like the day just goes by so quick. I know some people are bored. And I understand that, but we just, I wish for boredom. Yeah, I want boredom. Please, give me some boredom. <laughs> We're and so all busy. All those single people out there are like, oh, this sucks so much. No, no, enjoy it. Because the, once you have kids, and, forget it. You have no time. No, none whatsoever. Or you don't sleep. Well, it seems like something you have had some time for are the Disney sing-alongs. I yeah. am quite enjoying them but as you guys mentioned on the recent podcast i know you're going a little bit stir crazy from hearing them so often maria but uh how, how often <laughs> do you guys actually do those little things with the kids because it seems like you really are just having such a fun time over there in the midst of all this craziness uh you know um every day we try and devote a little bit of time to dancing and singing so um because you do you end up being around the tv so much that um you have to get up and move. So in between watching episodes of Bubble Guppies, <laughs> we make sure that there's some stretching going on. Um, and we spend a lot of time outside when it's nice out. Unfortunately, though, this weather has been so weird. It's like back and forth between uh, being perfect and then being a rainy mess out there. Yeah, it's the exact same way up here in Toronto. You'll have a gorgeous day, then it snowed about three days ago, and then it's just... it's. Yeah, it's a roller coaster, but hey, I'm mostly mm -hmm. inside, so can't complain too bad. <laughs> At least we don't have places to travel or to worry about those schedules anymore. Like, oh, is our flight going to be canceled? So that's uh -huh. kind of yeah. It's been kind of nice not traveling. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I I would love to travel. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, anyway, just to get a slight escape or vacation, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, I know you mentioned a couple of PG shows there, but something else I know you guys really got into recently, I feel like the whole world did, was Tiger King. And you actually went online and tweeted, there's no way that Carol Baskins did not kill her husband. So, um, <laughs> so do, do you have any theories on how it went down? Do you believe that Joe Song is right and it definitely was fed to the Tigers? Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. 100%, right? Fed to the Tigers. It's I, the, the sardine probably oil. one of those kind of... Um, one the of those kind of guys. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's like that. They, that was such a, a, a random. She just like threw it away. And I was like, wait, she just admitted on how you get a tiger to eat a human. How she did it. Yeah. So that's exact. She must have killed him herself. And then she doused him in sardine oil. That's my theory. I think everyone noticed her little slip there and we're like, okay, between that <laughs> and literally stealing the will and writing disappearing on it. Um, yeah. yeah. A little, oh, little which, bit of I guilt just, right there. I found out today that. Matt Taven actually went to Joe Exotics. Uh, Why doesn't that surprise I me doesn't, at all? It does yeah, it doesn't surprise, surprise me, me, but he never told me, and I'm hurt that he never told me. He went oh. there, and then Jay Lethal said they were from Tampa, so the whole crew thought that they were sent there by Carol Baskins, that they were undercover. <laughs> it's amazing. That's insane. That's I never so knew. Yeah. Oh, something I have to mention is there's obviously an undeniable chemistry between you two when you are in the ring. You've been one of those power couples in wrestling for quite some time now. And then the chemistry is also the same when you're on and off camera. So I was wondering, though, could you take me back to the first time you met and your first impressions of one another? Uh, go ahead. Do you want me to start? I, I, bet our, start. I bet our first impressions are entirely different. I just remember seeing her. We were actually we were both dating people at the time, yeah. so we were both in miserable relationships. Oh. Though I was in a terrible relationship, mm -hmm. and she was too. And we both ended up doing a um, an independent show for Northeast mm -hmm. Wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, and I just remember seeing her, and I was like, "Oh wow, she's beautiful." But I was like, "She's way out of my league, not <laughs> even close." And so I didn't even like give it a second thought. I was like, "Yeah, this is one of those things. I'll talk to her, but she's gonna look at me as like, oh, who's this indie jabroni? Stop talking to me, blah blah blah." And then she was the nicest person ever. And then we all ended up going out to eat afterwards mm -hmm. at TGI Fridays, like most wrestlers do after mm -hmm. a show. Um, yeah, Boston. Yeah, very <laughs> fancy. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and she 
I made it a point. Well, she said she made it a point to sit next to me. I made it a point across. across. I made it a point to try to sit across from her. But I think the thing that sealed the deal was I was being very fancy and I ordered, I ordered mozzarella sticks and I was like, well, I can't eat these with my hand or she's going to think I'm some sort of a caveman or barbarian. So I started (laughs) eating them with a knife and fork very delicately. And she looked at me and she called me out on it. Yeah. She was like, (laughs) who eats mozzarella sticks with a knife and a fork? And I was like, damn it. I blew it. I absolutely blew it. But I would, I, I DM'd you like a yeah. couple months after. We're, we're very high tech. Yeah. He, uh, a direct messaged me like, I don't know, must've been a month and a half later, but he must've been like creeping on me because, um, he found yes. out I was single. And so he decided now was the time, um, to direct message me. And, That's um, yeah. But when I, when I first saw and saw him, I was like, Oh, he would be fun. For a little while, and, and that that was all I thought. Toy, well, yes, fun for a little <laughs> while. Like she, I'm getting, yeah, she was gonna use and abuse me and throw me to the wolves. Yes. Oh yes, my I god, eh, I would have put up with it. Would have been totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids later. Two kids later, she right. stuck with me. Two kids and now you're here. And a house. Yeah, <laughs> you're locked in now. Well, you you mentioned the four companies there, and I think one of my favorite things about being online and having a fan base is all the speculation that goes around with fans. Like it can be absolutely on point sometimes, and sometimes it's just humorous, and you just you just laugh off some of the ridiculous ideas. And of course, recently with WWE, there were all of the releases in which you happen to be a part of, and so now fans are just wondering: Will they go back to ROH with the Kingdom? Will they go to Impact Wrestling, where debuting was one of your favorite moments? Where my Will they go to a you know everyone's just wondering so do you kind of get a laugh and a kick out of everything online that comes your way because there's been so much of it recently i think it's a lot of fun um it's fun for us um because we don't know where we're going yet or maybe we do no we don't know <laughs> no, we really don't we don't have a clue i wish we did and i wish i could tell um, people but we, right. we don't know where we're going so i've i've really enjoyed it but you just you feel so loved because like you you leave WWE where you know, both of us hadn't really been doing anything uh, storyline wise in months. And so you come out of WWE and you're like, Oh yeah, there are all these different companies There's that I worked for. <laughs> and I had all these tremendous experiences and all these other companies. And um, you know, and it also makes you feel good. And um, we've touched on this before in our podcast, but like, you know, Dixie Carter reached out to us and Delirious reached out to us and Tommy Dreamers reached out. To, like all these people have reached out to us again. And, you know, it just it makes you feel loved in this industry. And I'm, you know, I'm also excited too to see where this business is going to go. Because honestly, like, who knows? Um, so it's like, first, we got to figure out this damn coronavirus. And then after that, then we can figure out where we're going to go. <laughs> right. Virus first. Then virus company. virus yeah. first. Yeah. Yes. At least you have your important, your list going yeah. on. Yeah, we've, you know? we've, we've in, laid them out. It's in check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's crazy because this happened. I, I was, what was I, six weeks uh, postpartum when the first stay at home order happened. I think I, think I was so. about that. So it was like this poor child has been in stay at home order. He's been quarantined his, his whole life. life. Yeah. Um, so it's just, it's just crazy. Yeah. There's a whole world out there, little buddy. One day. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it. Eventually, You'll see it I soon. As soon as, <laughs> soon as the virus is gone. <laughs> now you had mentioned the podcast there and I've been listening to what you've released and I love just even little um, snippets that you've put online because they really are just so much fun to watch so have, is this something that you've wanted to put together for quite some time and now since you don't have as much going on and you are homebound it just felt like the right time or did it come out of necessity since you were home um, well, a, a little bit of both. Um, I think okay. structure is fantastic. I think that, you know, uh, having a goal and you know, even if it's a fake kind of job um, for now, uh, you know, it just it's just better for your total well-being. Um, the other thing is, is we had worked with AfterBuzz TV, um, uh, AfterBuzz, a long time ago. We were actually some of the originals that it did in 
did after buzz for WWE. So um, doing that, we were getting a, a million downloads or something like that back yeah, then. Yeah, me, you, and Jensen, right? Yeah, and then Preston, and then yeah. Preston came in. Um, so we we had done that a long time ago, and now um, and then after that, we did um, Mike and Maria in Wonderland, and that was a lot of fun for a while until things got crazy busy. And so this is kind of the third installation of that um, of us podcasting together. And I think like, I think when you get released or especially now, when a lot of times in the past, when people get released, they kind of hit the ground running and they go to wherever they can, or they pick up these indie dates, but you can't do that right now because I like, I've put out booking stuff and people have reached out to me, but I'm like, I'm not saying yes until I know when this is all going to be done. Cause I don't want to screw fans over or anything like that. And, and with two of us in the industry and this coronavirus, we both can't go on the road. Yeah. So, like, one of us will have to go, and the other one's going to have to stay back until they, one, find some kind of a- vaccine for it, or, two, this thing magically goes away. Maybe we all can pray on it or something. But, like, it's just, it's literally, um, it's literally the worst time for two people to be trying to figure <laughs> out, like, where do we go next? Because I yeah. can't go anywhere. This child needs somebody here. Because if we were both going on the road... Um, then I would have to quarantine for two weeks when I come back and then finally be able to see the babies again. So it's just, it's crazy. So I think, I think to the podcast is a little bit out of necessity where yeah. we're like, as soon as we got fired, Maria was like, all right, we just have to figure out what we can do in this house to try to keep ourselves relevant and try to do anything that mm-hmm. keeps us out there and monetize or whatever, just because what's going to happen. I don't know. We both lost our jobs. Yeah. So now it's just try- time to figure out and provide and, and do that. And I think it was kind of necessity. Ow. Sorry. I pulled that out Ooh. on you. I taught my mom. My mom gave me the gift of talking with my hands. So I'm all over the place. Uh, uh, calm down. I can't, I can't help baby it. In the head. <laughs> over here going, what are you doing? Yeah, stop dad, please. Yeah. But it's nice to see that throughout everything that's been happening, you both have such a positive attitude and outlook on stuff. Even when the releases happened, I remember Mike sent something out literally just saying, I got fired, you. And then Maria, you literally, <laughs> sent, you literally sent an old kingdom photo out where you were like, me too. And it, it seems like you're at least trying to have a positive outlook on everything, even having the title being the non-essential wrestlers podcast. I mean, is that kind of how you two have always been just having that positive outlook and being cheeky and a little bit edgy at the same time with what you're sharing, just being blunt. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I have no filter. Um, sometimes <laughs> that true. has gotten me in trouble, but I, as I've gotten older, I've learned instead of, um, I used to have serious temper issues when I was younger. And so now what I do to combat that is humor. Um, and you have to laugh at it. I mean, it's ridiculous what's going on in this world. It's ridiculous to fire two people from the same family during a pandemic. Damn it. Damn it. A pandemic. Pandemic. (laughs) It is a pandemic. I mean, (laughs) during a recession. And like, what? I just had a baby. I can't go back to work. Like, it is crazy. So unless we were to laugh, like, what what are you going to do? Plus, we don't have it the worst. Other people do. I mean, people that are losing loved ones right now, people that, you know, that they don't have health insurance or, or, you know, these poor indie wrestlers that are out there and they don't, they don't have any bookings. Like, at least we've been employed by WWE for the last few years. And so um, we're okay for a while, but there's others that aren't. So if we could just make you laugh um, at the stupid things that go on in our daily lives, then we will do that. You yes. have to laugh. Uh-huh. I mean, you just, it's so wild. It sucks. Like I remember when I got the phone call and then, uh, they were like, and we got to call your wife. And I was like, well, shit. And, and I, I, and I had just, he had just gotten his first shot <laughs> and I'm in the car and he's like screaming and I'm like, oh my God, now I have to make this phone call too. It's, like, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. It's just fun. And it, you know what it's I, feel like? I feel like a monkey that is like juggling things <laughs> and like I'm on the, uh, what is it called? The unicycle and like people are throwing bananas at me. That that's me in my life right now. Yeah. I am the monkey. I'm I think laughing and making fun of us ourselves keeps us sane at the end of the day because we could just sit there 
And am I dirty? Yeah, Thank but you. what do you have? I, I probably food, Freddie's food. Um, but Can yeah, it keeps, for later. Uh, yeah, definitely. It, but no, it's usually gross, like old mac and cheese or something that awesome. that Freddie it's put in there. Sexy. Yeah, no new babies. No. <laughs> this is kids. This is what kids is like. This is right. Yeah. This is what I have to look forward to. Yeah, this is what you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm. I'm sorry. No, I, I really appreciate the outlook though, because it is a really trying time, and you're right. So many people are in much more unfortunate position. So it's been the same way with me. If I can continue providing content, whether it's from my bedroom, usually it's on the road. Um, but if there's any way to continue doing that for people and just having that kind of spark and awesome guests like you on, like why, why not do it? You know, we have to stay in the light somehow and continue yeah, to yeah, also sure. keep, keep ourselves sane at the same time. Oh mm -hmm. God. Yeah. You, you'll lose your mind. If you just sit there and watch the news or stare at your phone, it always seems like doom and gloom. And it's just like, we watch um, some good news. Yeah. The week. John Krasinski, we watch his some good news every monday morning freddie sits down and watches us with us and it just gives us something because to I, laugh think about. That, I think that there's some people that are just genuinely um sick and tired of the terrible news and people are just excited to see something different and just have some fun at the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> just be normal again just, just be normal again yeah. you know well that's so many celebrities right now are just back to normal it's like have oh, to. what's going on with their house like yeah. you, you know you, you're watching you're well i like, saw what was it triple h was interviewed the other day on the bump or whatever and it looked shaved and like he looked like a caveman i was like <laughs> I what, what happened to him? actually yeah like yeah. super big beard <laughs> i was like come on dude you can shave i know you can come on yes. and it seems like every actor or actress has a guitar uh, some secret skill now yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes i'm like where'd that come from we were watching right. josh groban in the shower yeah Jeez. josh groban like, in the fantastic. shower <laughs> And like then I was like, why is he wearing like seven layers? And then the next week he comes out and he's like, oh, my dog. My is dog cold. likes it cold. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so so Josh Groban, this huge star, he bows yeah. down to his dog, which I wow. just I just found amazing. Well, like, we bound down to two children, so two children and two dogs. One of them I cannot believe has I mean, barked the entire time. The last two days, I was literally fre had Freddie put makeup on me so he could do oh. a tea party in the tub, yes. and I'm sitting all red makeup. Yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. Oh, yeah, this is love. what we He's, do. It looks like a demon. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I look like Brother Love. <laughs> I can envision it. It's a good Yeah, no, that's exactly what it, it. looks like. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm really glad that we were able to make this happen. I'm also astonished that throughout the whole thing, there wasn't a, a cry or a bark. This is incredible. So as I'm soon as we to... end this, it's going to explode. Okay. The house, it's going to set on fire. And yeah, that's what's going to happen. If anything else, I'm running up the front door <laughs> okay. screaming, and I'm never coming back. If I go missing, that is why. Yeah. Please come oh, Maria, Mike, <laughs> I want to say thank you so, so much for coming on here. It was an absolute pleasure. I, I've yet to meet you guys in person, but I've wanted to do this for so long. So I'm really, really glad that we were able to do it. So thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. It's been nice. Like I said before in other interviews, it's, it's sometimes just therapeutic to talk to people. It's mm. just nice. Except the other day, I tried to call it cathartic and I said lethargic, <laughs> which I think <laughs> means tired. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's not tiring talking to people. It's therapeutic. I've stuck with that one. But thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Everybody, this has been Maria and Mike. I am the interview queen, Alicia Toot. Be sure to check out aliciatoot.com for all exclusive interviews and features. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.